right, praise the Lord. Thank you so much for being here at North Greensboro Church of God here in Greensboro, North Carolina. Amen. Praise the Lord. I trust everybody's had a good day. I know we've Amen. enjoyed some fellowship time uh, before uh, starting service, and that's always good. It's always good to have fellowship with people of like faith. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, let's open up with, I'm going to read about three verses from Psalm 135 that says, Praise ye the Lord, praise ye the name of the Lord, praise him, O ye servants of the Lord. Ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. And amen. Let's, with that being said, let's do our saying. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. God is good. Amen. amen. Yes, praise the Lord. And that's what we should be doing here tonight. Amen. Is praising him. Amen. amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for another opportunity, God, that we have, Lord, just to come to your house, God. Gather in your name, Lord, and to worship you, God, tonight. Lord, we thank you for that, God. Thank you, Lord, for your protective hand watching over us, God, this week. And, Lord, being with us so far this week, we thank you for that, God. And, Lord, we pray, God, that you would touch and anoint, God. Lord, Sister Jenna, God, as she shares with us, Lord, from the Word of God tonight. Lord, speak to our hearts, God, we pray. And, Lord, just let everything that be done tonight be done in decency and in order. And, God, we'll thank you and we'll praise you. For all things, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, we are going to sing when we all get to heaven. And then I'm going to throw in a Christmas carol tonight, if you will. Uh, stand to your feet and help me sing tonight.
I've been a little under the weather this week, uh, but don't worry, I've tested negative for COVID twice, 
But um, it seems like it's more respiratory than anything else. But I'm just wearing this mask as a precaution when I'm close to you, but when I'm up here, me just being up here, I took it off. Um, it's good to see everyone tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord knows Praise what he's Lord. doing. Yes, he does. Amen. I wasn't, being that I was under the weather, I felt like it would be important just to have someone prepared, and Sister Jenna jumped at that opportunity. And uh, I'm going to let her bring the word tonight so she would come just to obey God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'll make sure this thing is on. I am glad to serve a God that does not fail. Yes. When everything else fails, the world is failing around us, but I am glad to serve a God that does not fail. I am glad to serve a God that gives me strength. Even on my darkest days, God is still right there to give me strength. I don't know about you, but I serve a God that is still alive. I serve a God of miracles. I serve a God of signs, and I serve a God of wonders. There we may be few in number, but the same God that can move in front of a hundred people can move right here at North Greensboro Church of God. And I'm telling you what, you ain't got to praise God like I do. Everybody has their different praise, but I've got my own praise, and I don't want no rock crying out for me. I want to praise God. Any, everything that is inside of me wants to praise God. And I came by to tell you something. God is the God of breakthrough. Even in your darkest hour, He is ready to move. You may not know where the next meal is going to come from, but I know a God that is Jehovah Jireh. He's the God He's Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals. He can heal the brokenhearted. Even when we're down in the dumps, he's there to give us joy. We, may, we don't always have to be happy, but he can still give us joy. Even in our, even in our lowest moments, he is always right there to give us joy. And I don't know about you, but I am thankful for that joy. I am thankful to know that I have God living inside of me. I don't need somebody to back me up. I don't even need an organ to back me up. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, not all that he's done for you, but all that he's done for me, when we get to heaven, we ain't going to be sitting there with our arms crossed, but we're going to be praising him. So what's set there now when we could be praising him? What's set there now when you know what all God has done for you? I don't need to know your whole life story, but God is the one that leads you. He's the one that guides you, and he will see you through every storm you go through in life. The Bible states in the book of Hebrews that he is the God, the same God yesterday, the same God today, and the same God forever. You wonder why that job didn't work? You wonder why that relationship didn't work, honey? It was all a part of God's plan. God had something better for you. God has someone better for you. You may have not met her yet. You may have not met him yet. But I came by to tell you that God has somebody set aside for you. Yes, we are not promised soulmates. But I believe that if you pray, I believe that if you seek his word and turn from your wicked ways and that you ask, I believe that if you ask him for something, he will give it. He will supply it. I think it's in the book of Philippians. It says, I will supply all your need according to his riches and glory. And I came by to tell you, everything that you face in life is a part of God's will. And it's a part of his path. And see, Satan 
things and he likes to come along and deceive us but the Bible says stay sober stay vigilant because the adversary the devil comes seeking whom he may devour and when we have God living inside of us Satan cannot touch us we've been covered by the blood and I don't know about you tonight but I've been covered by the blood I don't need somebody to back me up amen walls all I need is Jesus and Jesus holds it all I don't need a crowd of a hundred I don't need a crowd of five I know the anointing that God has placed on my life and I know that it is real I know that it is real if you have a calling you better walk in it if you have a talent you better walk in it cause I'm telling you what that talent can be taken away from you just like that God can give you a God given talent and then he can take it away just as easy as he gives it cause if you don't use it for his glory he'll take it away and give it to somebody that will it don't matter the age it don't matter the person it don't matter the gender and it definitely don't matter the race we are all God's people in God's eyes I said we are all God's people in God's eyes God still does the miraculous I said he still does the miraculous he's still in the healing working business we don't have to wait till we get to heaven to get our healing cause we know the healer man that is tweetable and if somebody don't tweet it I'll tiktok it I said we don't need to we don't have to have that healing in heaven because we know the healer the healer is within inside of us you may think that it is weird for me to be preaching like this you may be thinking why is she breathing like that you may be thinking she needs an inhaler you may be thinking this is too Pentecostal for me well honey I came to tell you something I ain't a Baptist preacher I don't sit here going and the word says in the book of John, for God so loved the world. No, that's not me. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. And if I'm filled with the Holy Ghost, I can preach. Oh, I can preach. But it's not me that preaches. It's him. Because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here right now. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't be right now in this seat. And I came by to tell somebody that whatever you need, God's got it. Matter of fact, God is already making a way right now. In front of you, he's guiding your footsteps. I said he's guiding your footsteps. I don't know who that's for, but that is for somebody in this moment. He is guiding your footsteps. I'll tell you what, he knows what's going to happen even before we go through it. He song that goes the God of the mountain is still the God of the valley right. and that is so true yes. but we must have faith in those dark seasons yes. the Bible yes. says I think it's in the book of Matthew that it only takes uh, the faith the size of a mustard seed to move a mountain huh? right. and I'll tell you what I got enough faith as a Christian huh? and you ought to too huh? I'll tell you what I know huh? what my God has did in my life huh? I know what he's done in other people's lives and I came by to tell you something what he's done in me he can do in you but he won't force it upon you he won't force it upon you he sees the ones that wants to be used and he uses them but he won't put a gun to your head and he will not say follow me the Bible states that to pick up your cross and follow me you gotta understand that when we give our lives to Christ the old is gone what we did yesterday is gone that is why we must repent on 
a daily basis and pray on a daily basis because I came by to tell you prayer is how we communicate with God. Yes, sure, we can talk to him, but prayer is communication with God. That may be going into a prayer room. I mean, really, you don't even have to close your eyes. You can be on the highway praying because God will still hear you. See, it may take years for God to answer a prayer, but know that God will answer it. He will answer it. Know that God is working for you in this season. You may be in a dark season, but know that that season is going to turn into a joyful season. But you must walk with God through it. Because if you're not walking with God through it, he will not see you through it. If you turn your back on him, it will be much harder. But when we have God, we know that we will get there. Romans 8, 28 states that God will work everything out for your good. So why sit there depressed? Why sit there lonely? Why sit there crying when you know that God is working it out for your good? When you know that you have victory in the name of Jesus? I don't know what you came here for, but I'm here to tell you that God can do it. God can do it. The same miracles that happened in the Bible are the same ones that can happen now. The same miracles that happened in the Bible are the same ones that can happen now. I've seen a lot of things in my life, but I know God, he can heal. Because if he healed then, he can heal now. They told my mama that she wouldn't be able to have any kids. Well, look at here. Here's one on fire for God. Here's one preaching the gospel. And I never thought, to be honest, I never thought I would be following in my dad's footsteps. But here I am. And it's only by the grace of God. If I did not have Holy Ghost filled parents, I do not know where I would be. But I came to tell you that I am thankful for my Holy Ghost filled parents. I am thankful for the Holy Ghost mothers and sisters and brothers in Christ that I have. I am thankful to have an anointing that has been placed on my life. And I don't know how I do it because if I'm being honest with you, at first, I was not good at public speaking, and I still don't think I'm good at public speaking. But with the anointing that God has placed on my life, I can do it. I said I can do it. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And I came by to tell you that whatever battle you may be facing, God may just want you to sit back and let him work it out. Because sometimes that's what we need to do when we take matter into our own hands. It can cause more damage than good. But when we sit back and let God do all the work, all we got to do is sit there and let him fight the battle. There is a song by Phil Wickham that is called Battle Belongs. And it simply says that the battle belongs to him. And if that battle belongs to him, that means every battle that I face after that will belong to him. Because I'm no longer me, but Christ lives within me. And with Christ. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. The whole mountain may be falling on me, but I can still do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And I came by to tell you tonight that if I can do it, you can do it. You can do it with the Holy Ghost. You can do it with Jesus Christ. You know the people out in the world, they think, oh my gosh, they are too crazy. No, honey, it's called praising God. Because I'm telling you what, there are some folks that will sit in their seat that will cross their arms. Well, to each their own. But let me tell you, if I'm going to be running, shouting, and dancing up in heaven, I'm going to be running and shouting down here. Because God, he's been good to me. And if he's been good to me, he's been good to you. See, there are some things that we may question in life. But I'm here to tell you that if you have faith and if you keep pushing, everything's going to be all right. As long as you do not back away from God. As you can see, I haven't even looked at my notes. They're all right here. But I'm just preaching what is on my heart. I came by to tell you that he will work everything out for your good. 
honestly. I did not plan on doing it. No. All right. So, all right. That was just my introduction. Um, I did actually want to preach the sermon that I had typed down. So give me a moment. I need to get a sip of water. Thank you, Lord. I want to give honor where honor is due to my lovely parents and my pastor, which is the same person. I, you know. uh, I want to give honor to uh, my church family. I also want to give honor to um, all my brothers and sisters in Christ. So I started typing up this sermon a few days ago, and it's just simply entitled God's Way, God's Will, and God's Path. And see, throughout life, we see God guiding us and directing us. And one of our goals as Christians is to stay on the right path. And that is what God helps us to do. See, he wants what's best for us. Not only does he want what's best for us, but he knows what is best for yes, us. Yes, sometimes yes. what we want for us is what we don't need for us. Right. See, sometimes God will remove things out of your life because he knows what is best for you. Sometimes when God takes things out of our life, it can leave you heartbroken. But know that it is all a part of God's plan. Right. He will always work everything out for your good. Romans 8 28 states that God will work everything out for your good. Yes, See, through is. every Thank storm you. we face in life, know that God is with you. Isaiah 41 10, English Standard Version states, Fear not, I am with you, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. See, God will never let you down, He will never fail you. His Thank love you for you will never fail. 1 Corinthians states that. See, a lot of people these days take that verse out of context. This is what a lot of teenagers tend to say. They tend to say, if you get into a relationship with someone and it fails, then it wasn't true love. Well, honey, I came to tell you that that is not what it meant when it said that love never fails. It was talking about God's love. Right. See, yes. God will never fail. I was talking to someone the other day and I said, people change, season change, but God always remains the same. Yes, no matter yes. what you go through in life, God will not change. God will be with you through it all. Tell the yes. devil how big your God is. The devil will try to distract you. See, there are so many distractions Satan can send along to try and get you off track. But in the end, God has the victory. And in the end, we have the victory. See, 1 Corinthians 15 1957 ESV states the following, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. See, sometimes it is hard to stay on the right path. Satan will try his best to deceive you. The word states, as I said earlier, be sober, be vigilant. I swear I cannot pronounce this word. Vigilant. Vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a right. roaring lion, yep. walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Yes. That is what we are supposed to do as Christians. We must stay on alert while living this life. Yes. We must stay focused. God knows what you're going to face even before you face it. Right. I like to think that God goes ahead of us and plans our life. But see, while he plans our life and knows all things. He leaves what I call little fill in the blanks. See, God leaves us choices to decide from all throughout life, and it is our goal to make the right choices. See, Satan loves when you fall. When you fall, he laughs and says, ha ha, look, I made you fall. You're right where I want you. God doesn't love you after doing that. But see, while he's saying that, God is telling you that he loves you and that you need to repent. Repentance is good for the soul. We as Christians should have a life of prayer and repentance. The word states to pray without ceasing, and that is exactly what we should do. I always find a time to pray. Typically, I pray at night, but if I see 
a prayer request on Facebook or something like that, I'll stop and pray right there. But sometimes it's best to stop and pray right then and there because you may forget to pray for that person or thing later. See, prayer and repentance should be a daily thing in your Christian walk. See, you must have faith on your walk with Christ. The Word tells us to walk by faith and not by sight. For it only takes the faith the size of a mustard seed to move a mountain. See, God didn't promise that this life would be easy, but he promised that the reward would be far greater than we could ever imagine. See, James 1, 12 in KJV states, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Whatever you may be facing in life, know that God is the God of yesterday. Yes. He's the God of today. Yes. And he's the God of tomorrow. Yes. If he's the same, that means that he does not change. He does not change based on your circumstance. You could be in the worst battle of your life, but God still remains the same. He will always be with you no matter what. Sometimes we like to take matters into our own hands when God just wants us to sit back yes. and let him fight for us. Yes. Exodus 14, 14 in KJV states the following, the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. See, when we take matters into our own hands, it can leave things worse than they were originally. But when we let God deal with it, he will work it out for your good. God knows what's best. Know that God created you for a reason and yes. for a purpose. Yes, he, he has a plan for you. As Jeremiah 29, 11 ESV states, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. And as I close tonight by saying this, remain focused. Don't lose sight of what God has for you because he loves you and he has a plan for you and he has a purpose for you. You may not know what your calling is yet, but I came by to tell you that God has a specific calling on your life. You may, you may not even be fully on fire for him, but I came by to tell you tonight that God has a plan for for you and if you stay on the right path he will not leave you he will not forsake you and as long as you keep on going he will be right there with you Father God in the name of Jesus I pray God that as we move into this portion of the service God I pray God that you touch somebody here God whatever they may be needing God I pray God in the name of Jesus that whatever they may be facing God that you touch them God tonight God, don't let them leave the same way they came in. God, I pray, God, that you anoint me because I cannot do what I am about to do except with you, Jesus. And God, I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you continue to use me as a vessel. God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Would anybody like prayer?
Let's give the Lord a clap of praise tonight. All right, all right. Amen, yes. Thank you, Lord. Tomorrow's Lord. December the 1st. Somebody's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be the big five zero. Her name is Jane. 25 times 2. I like it. She's in the 50 club. No, his but teacher's going to be 25. Thank she's coming up here to play. So I told her today, I said, you're half my age. I'm double yours. <laughs> oh, to be 25 again. Amen. That was before I knew Bill. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, before I knew Bill. <laughs> Let's sing happy birthday to Sister Jane. You want to song? <coughs> sing it, Austin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Musically talented. Special young man. Amen. Praise the Lord. 